Hi, this is Myra with Boutique Paint. We're playing with one of the new stamps that will be released this week. Reverie, I hope I'm saying it right. You know how Josie is in her, um, her names that none of us can pronounce unless we know French. Um, I'm going to be stamping uh, this little guy, which has got little cherubs on it. You can't see it, but it's got cherubs just sweet the whole stamp is just very sweet it's um very similar to the very first release that they ever did years ago um with um cherubs on it and i'm trying to remember the name of it it's been so long it was they had three stamps when they came out that's all three stamps and so this is kind of a remix of that so I'm going to stamp on this jacket and I'm going to use Speedball, which is a fabric screening print ink. Um, and it comes in a bunch of different colors, but I'm going to use the white. And um, the reason why I'm using this instead of ink is because uh, Iron Orchid's white, mixing white, isn't doesn't come out bright enough. So I'm going to give this a try. And I think it's available pretty readily if not any screen printing ink should work i'm going to just um, put a little bit of the ink and it's thick you can see how thick it is and i'm just going to put it on a mat over here so that i can roll it on my brayer let's see if we can just scoot that over so that you can actually see what i'm doing here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to roll out some of the ink so I get the brayer nice and coated and because I haven't worked with this that looks like it's quite a bit so I'm going to offload it a little bit that looks a little bit better and then I'm just gonna roll it right onto the stamp And any time you are going to make an impression on a piece of clothing, you always want to make sure that the piece of clothing has been washed without fabric softener, just soap and water. Um, even if it um, is new, you still want to wash it. There's all kinds of sizing and chemicals and whatnot in clothing. Or if it comes from like St. Finney's, we don't know, you know, if they use fabric softener before they wash it, if they washed it, all that good stuff. So I'm going to take a baby wipe and I'm just going to clean up where I can see that I've got ink where I do not want it. I'm just going to... Hopefully I can lay this down without getting it into the ink over here. Let's see. I'm going to move the mat because I just know myself. I will make a mess. All right. There we go. And this is a children's jacket, like a uh, size 12 girl's jacket. I thought it'd be cute on here. Originally, I was going to do the angel wings, and then I thought, no, it'd be fun to try one of the new pieces. So you could measure this out so that you can get it exact. I'm going to eyeball it, which we'll see how good my eyeballs are. And I'm just going to kind of center it and then go down. like anything else just push now we've got a seam here and with seams we got to make sure that it get the ink gets on there nice and good so you really want to go in there with your finger and be getting the stamp into the seam there same thing on this side and then you can take a little sneaky peek. I think I want a little bit more. I'll 
see how this did. Pretty good. That turned out pretty cute. Now what I'm going to do with the stamp is I'm going to take it in the house and I'll put it in some water and let it sit for a few minutes and then I'll take a little scrub brush and get in there and uh, get the ink out of there since I don't know how this will react if I just let it sit for a while. But that turned out pretty cute. Very sweet. So what I'll do once this is dry, and I'm probably going to give it a couple hours, and then I'll heat set it with an iron um, on high heat since this is cotton, or you can throw it in the dryer and just let it go for like 20 minutes, 15-20 uh, minutes to heat set it on high. Um, and then that'll lock it in and then you can wash it from the from there but I think that turned out pretty sweet before I show you the rest of that stamp I am going to clean up the mess I made because I put so much of the ink onto this piece of sheet of plastic I don't want to just leave it there and let it go to waste so I'm just going to scrape it up because we don't want to waste I can't find my little IOD paint blade, but I'll just get up as much as you can. And for this, you can use the um, plastic that the stamp top comes on just to lay down the ink. Um, like I said, this comes in a bunch of really nice colors. Very, very nice colors. Hot pink, depending on what you're wanting, black. Um, but yeah, you can get all different colors there. So I did a little bit of cleanup, and I just used um, a baby wipe and a paper towel, and my mat cleaned right up. I wiped this down. I will still take it into the house and scrub it with a brush so I can get into all these little nooks and crannies, but it did clean up really nicely. So I'm just going to stamp this whole thing out, minus what we just used, because I don't want to get white all over my black ink pad. But I just want to show you how beautiful this stamp is in its entirety. I think I got all the bits and pieces. Let's see. They let us play with this stamp and one of the other ones um, that just came out um, when we were at the retreat and they are just so beautiful. Just the detail. Look at that. Now I didn't get that obviously as inked up as I would like to, um, but the detail on it's pretty nice. It's always fun to stamp it out on some crap paper just because the contrast of it is really kind of cool too. So because the how-to was so short on this, I wanted to um, pull out some of the new pieces and show them to you. These are a little bit different look for IOD. And you may look at it and go, ah, I don't know. Um, but look at them closely because they're just absolutely beautiful. The details, you've got some new bunnies and, you know, we can always use new bunnies. Um, and then just the detail inside of each one of these. I should have taken it out of the wrapper. And then this is Pennsylvania Folk Art Stamp. Same thing. Just some beautiful, beautiful artwork that you could do with this. Um... Lexi, who does a lot of watercolor that I've um, talked about in the past, um, she showed me at the retreat, she had just stamped this whole thing just like this and then watercolored it. This isn't hers, but she then watercolored it and it was just phenomenal. It was just so, so pretty. Um, so I think there's going to be a lot that you can do with this. Just, you know, the flower and the these elements here just really pretty. And before I ship out, I always stamp my um, packages with something that's new. And so I took five of the flowers in this Pennsylvania stamp 
and um, use them to stamp out my uh, my shipping envelopes. So I just wanted to show you that real quick. Um, and, but that's pretty much it. We have our little stamp jacket. I know that was a quickie, um, but there's a lot to do. There's there's things to order um, this week. But isn't that sweet? That is just so sweet. I think personally, I would like I like the contrast a little bit of the darker blue um, than the lighter blue up here. But the whole thing did turn out sweet. So. So that's it for this week. Um, thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions, you can go to our website at www.boutiquepaint.com and we will have these new products there. Thanks. Bye.